All right, uh, let's look at the homework 5.2, problem number 8. All right, so let's evaluate this uh, definite integral based on this uh, given definite integral. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, oops, there's a circle there. Oh, it's gone. All right, so uh, if you look at this integral, I'm going to split into uh, two terms and uh, two, two integrals. All right, so first thing is uh, there's a 3. Uh, here, I'm going to pull it out. So you have a 3, oops, let's use blue. Uh, 3 is out here, and an integral uh, 1 to 3 uh, e to the x dx. Alright, the second term is uh, minus, right? So 1 to 3, uh, 3 dx. Alright? So this is going to be equal to, right, 3 is already there. And this integral is actually given up here, right? So this is um, e cubed minus e minus, right, integral of a constant from uh, 1 to 3 would be, if you look at the region, this is going to be a rectangular region. So here, and uh, here is 1. Here is 3, and uh, function is 3, so up here, All right? So you can see that the region is going to be, so this is uh, y equals 3, and they're going from 1 to 3. So this is going to be a just a rectangular region. So we know that that's going to be a base. Base is uh, 3 minus 1 times height is 3. So 3 times 2. All right, so this is going to be equal to, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, let's say distribute 3e cubed minus 3e right, minus, uh, actually, uh, can I take that back? I'm going to actually uh, pull out um, 3 because everyone seems to have 3 in it. So pull out 3. Right, so we have three here and three there. Pull that out. All right, then we have, uh, oops, let's I can't, uh, right, e cubed minus e and uh, minus two. All right, so let's type this guy in. All right, three times uh, e cubed minus e uh, minus 2. All right, so let's uh, submit for testing. All right, I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.